Hey guys, Pulse here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. And we got the stats and movesets for, you know, all the data mined, I guess, sync pairs that are coming in from as early as, I think, is it Wednesday or Thursday? Uh, all the way up to like the end of January. So, uh, so if you want to check out all the other, you know, um, sync pairs and stuff, I will have videos uh, on them on the channel um, whenever I upload them, which takes time, of course. So uh, anyways, um, subscribe if you want to get all those videos, you know, hit the notification bell if you want to get them as soon as possible and all that. So anyways, let's get into this first one. So we got Cynthia and Garchomp stats and moves here, and it's pretty good. She's pretty good. <laughs> she's pretty good. She's 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 not terrible, right? Um, I would say she's probably one of the better uh, strikers in, in the game. So she didn't disappoint in the fact that, you know, she's a decent, she's a really good striker. But I, I've seen some people who are kind of disappointed about Cynthia. They thought, you know, oh, she should be like the best striker in the game. Which is understandable, you know, if she's your favorite, you know, a character or Garchomp's your favorite Pokemon, then you probably would like that to happen. I wish my favorite <laughs> character was the best sync, sync pair in the game, right? But um, anyways, um, she's definitely not the best striker in the game, but she's really, really she's still super, super good. So anyways, uh, uh, let's go over this first. So uh, let's go over the basics. It's five star sync pair, obviously. You get it from summons, and the summon actually starts on January the 1st, uh, 10 p.m. Pacific time. So that's what a few days away, right? What, uh, what is it right now? 24th, 6, 7. That's like what eight days away. <laughs> so she's dropping soon. She's dropping soon. <laughs> so again, um, just hold on to your hold on to your gems. If you want Cynthia, save them because <laughs> again, she is coming really, really soon, and you probably want to pick her up. <laughs> she's uh, she's she's a pretty good sync bear. Um, so anyways. Uh, let's go over, let's keep on going through the other stuff. She is a striker. She's a physical striker for the most part. Um, you could see her stats or, you know, special attacks and attack rate. Uh, she's ground type for the most part, right? Um, all of her moves are ground type. Well, I wouldn't say all her moves because, well, there is one exception, which we'll talk about in a bit. But, you know, most of our moves are, are ground type and her typing, you know, her actual typing is ground type, right? She's not a dual type, not, none of that. She's just, uh, ground type. I'll, again, I'll, like 90%, probably even 95% of the sync pairs in this game are all single typings. And uh, Cynthia falls into that category as well with the ground type. And then her weakness is ice. So keep that in mind, I guess. So going over its stats, HP 547, uh, physical attack 331, uh, defense 144, uh, sp special attack uh, 128, resistance 141, speed 325. So in terms of her stats, she has some really, really decent stats. Like, um, the, the big one obviously is, is her physical attack, right? She has as much, uh, physical attack as Pignite, as Pignite has. So that's a really decent amount, right? She's, you know, she has, I think exactly the same, um, physical damage stat as Pignite. And then slightly more than slacking, um, slightly more than solar rock, and then slightly less uh, physical damage than uh, Trico, Grovile, and you know those folks, I guess. So not bad for 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 you know damage for 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 physical stat, right? Um, there's like probably what only a dozen um, other uh, sync pairs in front of her, right? And and don't worry, like this. This, you know, if you think this is not great, a great physical stat, oh, well, first of all, that's not true. <laughs> it's it's really good. But second of all, it, it's going to get better uh, in a bit, so don't worry too much about that. Um, so her, her defensive stats, her bulk, not the biggest deal in the world. She's a decently bulky um, sync pair, I'd say, in comparison to a lot of the other strikers. Remember, she's a striker. She's not a uh, support. Supports usually have the more, more bulky stats. She's probably around as bulky as a um, Mega Houndoom, and um, I'd say she's not as bulky as Meditate, but she's probably around Mega Houndoom's level, right? Which is okay, which is okay, that's not terrible. And again, you don't necessarily want your uh, your strikers to be, you know, to have high bulk anyways in the first place, so that's not too big of a deal. So, moving on to its uh, moves, oh, also speed. Um, speed 325, uh, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to check that. Um, Let's see, let me just check that real fast. 325, that's around 
That's around uh, that's around Hound Doom's level. Hound Doom's Abstrico's level. Uh, Persian, right? Uh, slightly quicker than Torchic. That's mm, uh, could have been better, I guess. But then again, you know, it is Garchomp. I don't know. Garchomp's supposed to be pretty fast. <laughs> uh, but uh, this this again, this isn't slow. But you know, um, it's not extremely fast either. So uh, moving on to its moves. So its moves are interesting. So your first move is called Stomping Tantrum. Uh, it's ground type physical move, and then the power is doubled if the user's previous move failed. Uh, with 44 power, 100 accuracy, and uses two bars, it's a single target move. Uh, ground type physical, right? So this move's power will get doubled if your previous move failed. So there are a few scenarios where that can happen, right? Either, you know, you miss your attack if you're, well, even though the accuracy is, you know, 100, both, both her moves, accuracies are 100. Like, you know, if your opponent use like some kind of evasive, uh, you know, um, buff um, move or, or they lowered your accuracy, I guess, you know, that could result in that happening. Or, you know, um, you used like this, uh, you use Stomping Tantrum the turn before on a flying type Pokemon and then this turn you use it on a non-flying type Pokemon. Which I don't know why you would waste all that uh, energy to do that, but I guess you could do that. And then, you know, it's 88 power uh, move for only two bars. But then again, remember, your last move has to miss, so you're still wasting at least two bars, right? <laughs> so, or I guess you could, um, I'm not sure if this one counts. So, it like, uh, if, if you're... If your own like attack, because it has X attack, right? Um, so if your attack is already like maxed out, if you use X attack, does that count as a fail as well? I think that does. So maybe that as well. But again, you know, probably not too op optimal. You won't be using Stomping Tantrum a lot, I don't think, unless there are you know special cases where you're facing you know Pokemon with high evasive stats. I guess maybe. So moving on, X attack. It is you know it's a X attack. Everyone know what it does. You have two uses, you know, it raises your physical attack stat by two um, each time. In total, you got four uh, four physical stat boosts there, um, four out of six, right? So that's always good to have on, you know, any physical striker, right? Uh, moving on, this is, I guess, your main damaging move, which is Earthquake. Uh, so EQ, ground, physical, 100 power, 100 accuracy, three bars, all opponents, and uh, yeah. So it hits all your opponents, doesn't hit your own field, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> it's her AOE move. She's she, what she really looks like so far. To me, honestly, is just a much better Hau. Um, you know, Hau. A lot of people use Hau to auto a lot of the training courses and stuff. And Cynthia just seems like a better version of that. Um, Earthquake again, slightly more damage there, and then also in terms of you know the stats that you get to, it's much better. And also, um, there's one more thing we'll talk about in a bit that will make that that makes Cynthia better than than Hau. And uh, so, yeah, Earthquake, that's your main damage. Do remember the damage is spread out because, well, it's an AoE move. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, moving on, your last move, move four, uh, called This Match is Too Fun. <laughs> it raises the user's uh, speed and crit, and then these stats are sharply raised when the user is in a sandstorm. So you'll need to be in a sandstorm for this to, to reach its full potential. The only sandstorm user in the game at the moment, I think, is Acerola, which is kind of um, disappointing since Acerola is not that great, <laughs> unfortunately, but, uh, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, you know, you need Sandstorm, you gotta get Acerola to use it, right? So, oops, sorry about that, I just hit my mic, uh, Acerola with Sandstorm, that would make your crit and speed increase, uh, you know, uh, by two stats uh, every time you use it. Uh, there has been a rumor going around that says it's actually speed and accuracy. That is very likely not true. Again, this is all data mine info, so it could always change uh, before the unit comes out. But um, the people who say it's accuracy uh, only read the English um, uh, files. Uh, in almost all the other languages, it says crit. I think it's like only English and like some other language it says accuracy. So um, it's very likely it's it's crit rather than accuracy. And also, accuracy does, does just doesn't make any sense. Like, like what the hell? Like, you have two 100 accuracy moves. Why are you boosting accuracy? <laughs> so, again, um, you're boosting crit, so that's good. Boosting speed is good. Uh, boosting attack, that's good. You got, you know, she's a really self-sustainable um, striker, which, you know, would benefit a lot from um, a Sandstorm user, 
aka Acerola at the moment. She's, again, at the moment, she's the only Sandstorm user in the game. So moving on to her passives and also her sync moves. So her sync moves is interesting. Her sync move actually uh, turns her into a Mega Garchomp, <laughs> which a lot of people uh, I know were asking about, and she does indeed turn into Mega Garchomp. So her sync move called Earthquake of Ancient Lore. Her, it's ground, physical, becomes Mega Garchomp. Power's not the craziest, it's only 160 power, but you turn into Mega Garchomp, so that's worth it, I guess. Um, so so, so after you turn to Mega Garchomp, obviously you get a huge, huge stat, a stat boost, yeah, um, like all across the board, right? So, well, I wouldn't say all across the board, most of your stats. I think there are a few stats that are still similar, right? Resistance, special attack, and speed are still the same, which, again, not that relevant. Okay, speed could have been better, but, you know. Um, resistance, special attack, you know, your Cynthia, your Garchomp, you don't, you don't need special attack and, well, maybe resistance, but you don't need special attack for the most part. So, uh, in terms of your physical damage, you just skyrocket, uh, among the rankings, I think, um, within, you know, just if you're only counting the old sync pairs that are in the game at the moment, um, you would be, I think, number three in terms of physical damage, 300 and 97 so just going over the stats real quick hp turns into 547 uh physical attack 397 defense 172 so 397 physical attack is just under olivia and lycanroc so the highest in the game for those who don't know is uh, mega pincer and then afterwards it's olivia and lycanroc and then it's mega garchomp <laughs> that's that's how crazy this uh, physical stat is right so um, just slightly under Lycanroc and slightly higher than Megalucario, which again, those of you who didn't use Megalucario before, dude does a lot of damage. <laughs> so, so great, great stats, um, boost overall. And also, um, there has been a change in the game, which makes uh, Mega Pokemon way more, I, I wouldn't say way more viable, but just, I guess a bit more viable in co-op, which we'll talk about in another video. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go over the changes for Mega Garchomp. So when you become Mega Car uh, Garchomp, um, you pick up uh, some moves, right? Well, some moves. You only pick up one move. So instead of your like first move thing, um, you pick up Slash instead, uh, which is a normal type, physical, crits land more easily, 50 power, 100 accuracy, 2 bars. As for why the hell <laughs> Mega Garchomp gets Slash of all moves, not really sure. Is it great? No, not really. It's, you know, it's normal. You don't get stab. Um, same type of attack boost. Critical hits land more easily. You already have, like, crit boost. Like, even if you don't use it in Sandstorm and you only have, and you don't have any supports or whatever, you only increase it, uh, in increase your crit by two, that's still 80% crit. <laughs> so that's still really, really reliable. So that's, uh, the slash is not really great. I, I guess, you know, the two bar thing is good, I guess. You know, it's, it's only two bars, which is nice. But aside from that, not really useful. Um, you're probably going to Earthquake most of the time um, still. Um, moving on, uh, let's talk about Garchomp's passives. They don't change when you you know become Mega or not. Um, but your first passive is Hit and Run 2. Occasionally raises the Pokemon speed after it uses a move. This is great. Not as good as Olivia's, obviously, because well, Olivia's is kind of overpowered. But still, you know, sometimes you raise speed, and that's cool. <laughs> um... Especially in this new new uh, co-op, I guess, environment. R speed is actually kind of important now. Much more important now. <laughs> and then Surging Sand 5 powers, powers up move and it, it moves in a Sandstorm. So you know, that's what you would expect from uh, Garchomp, right? You know, the Sandstorm boost. So if you pair Mega Garchomp with Acerola, uh, or not even Mega, just regular, just Garchomp, Cynthia. If you pair Cynthia with, with Acerola, she's going to be doing a lot of freaking damage. <laughs> she will be very, very good. So Mega Garchomp, I would say, is just a much, much better version of Hau and uh, and uh, Alolan Raichu. So overall, like, you're, it's basically, you know, she's a new AoE unit for the most part, right? And she just does a crap ton of damage. And uh, another point that people, I guess, shouldn't dismiss is that she is a ground-type striker. And all the other ground type strikers in this game suck. <laughs> They're terrible, <laughs> right? Uh, who are the like? One's Palatode, and then the other is um, Mudsdale, Hapu Mudsdale. Although Mudsdale's not. Ah, uh, nah. 
but still pretty terrible. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, both of them are pretty terrible. Same thing, Garchomp. Instantly, obviously, the best ground striker in the game. Um, I would say it's a pretty good striker. Um, I, I, I'd say it's probably, it's definitely top 10. Is it top 5? Not sure. I'll have to test her out to see if she's top 5 or not. Um, again, you know, there are a lot of really, really good strikers in this game, but still, um, it's hard to compare these because, again, some of these are, you know, there's physical strikers, special strikers, and obviously they vary a lot in team comp and all that, usability, and then, again, she is still the only ground type unit in the game, and she's Cynthia, and everyone loves Cynthia, everyone loves Garchomp, so we'll be summoning for Cynthia and Garchomp. That's a conclusion. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, in terms of team comp, Again, Acerola is probably a must-run with Cynthia. I wouldn't say must-run, but, you know, a very highly recommended uh, unit to run with Cynthia. Um, I guess another one uh, could be a... I don't know. I think that that's 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 good enough, honestly. Just, I guess, some other support just to get her uh, sync, uh, a, a sync move going faster so she could turn into Meg Carchomp earlier, right? Um, so I guess that would help. Uh, or, you know, if someone has that last X attack that, that Cynthia needs, um, you know, a physical booster would be cool, I guess. Hilbert, maybe. Or, um, actually, uh, 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 Rose Santa would be nice. Um, Rose and Delibird. Uh, so you could get that Earthquake back, uh, quicker as well as, you know, the, the, X, the, the, the physical boost. So there's that. So anyways, um, that's me for this one. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about Cynthia and Garchomp and Mega Garchomp in the comments down below. Uh, again, I will be posting videos of breakdowns of all these new um, sync peers throughout the day. So again, turn on your notifications, subscribe to your new channel, all that stuff. So you could get all the videos and all that stuff. There might be another one already on the channel. So, or a few. So, so, you know, check the channel and, uh, you'll uh, find some interesting new sync pairs and stuff. So anyways, again, that's me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. So we're on your channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.